Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Align Plans. So today we're doing something a little bit different with fountain pens because I don't know if you've ever ran into this issue. I run into this all the time actually when you ink your pens and you walk away thinking, you know what, I love the color, I love the pen, but when I combine the two and I'm using it in that specific pen, I actually don't love it. The color doesn't show up as much. I wish I would have used a pen with a different nib or the, the way the color saturates a little bit differently in my other pens. So if you've ever had that issue where you love both the pen and you love using the color that you selected for the month, but you're unsure how that same color would perform in, you know, in different nibs, well, I got you. So today I thought that we would pick just a very nice, beautiful neutral color that would technically work in any of the pens that I own. And we would try them out in a fine nib, in a medium fine nib, and in a medium nib. And the, we're, we're going to kind of test it out, see how the color shows up, if there's any changes in the color saturation. I'm pretty sure that there will be. And also we're going to kind of see that at the end of this, after I kind of test it out for a few days, I will come back and I'll let you know my thoughts of not only the color, but also which one of the pens it has performed the best. So if that sounds good, then, you know, why don't we just, why don't we just get started? And of course, if you are brand new and this is the first time that we're meeting, my name is Meshi and I am the person behind the line plans. And if you love videos like this one, all about planning and journaling and fountain pen inks and kind of testing things out just so that we're not constantly end up with just running out to the store and buying the new and the latest thing. I think you would really enjoy it here. So consider subscribing. So here's what I have in front of me. I have my little Hobonichi uh, Techo. This is the A6 size. I like this because it has uh, Tomo River paper in it. And I also love it because it's a white colored paper. So testing inks, it makes it a little bit easier. And then I have three pens. Now, I will say this, the ink that I selected, honestly, I selected it because I really, really like it. But if there, if you can't find this particular ink because it's a limited edition ink, I can, I'm going to give you a suggestion of something that is slightly similar. But the, the whole idea is that if you kind of follow along with me, then you can kind of see, okay, this type of ink would work really well in one of your medium or your medium fine pens. So anyway, so. I just kind of wanted to preface that because sometimes I'm going to select inks that I'm hoping to make this into a series, as you can tell, but I'm, I'm going to select inks that is not, that is like a limited edition thing. I'm going to pull this up so I can actually bring the name up and we can see. Okay. So the pen that I'm going to be using first and foremost, so this is a Sailor Prophet Jr. and Mizutama fountain pen set. So I bought this pen. Here we go. So the pen itself is limited edition. Um, I bought the off white one because I absolutely fell in love with it. It is so, so beautiful. And it came with this small little, um, Mizutama Sailor ink. And I'm going to pull up the color so that you know. It's a collab between Sailor and Mizutama. It includes a fountain pen, a matching ink converter, and a matching bottle of ink. The fountain pen is equipped with medium nib and the pen body is decorated with characters by Mizutama. Now I don't, I'm just, I just pulled it up. This is still available as of the recording of this video. It's still available at paper plus cloth, but I will, I will swatch this for you because currently I actually already have this loaded in this pen. So I, I love this so much that I already loaded it into the, into the pen. But the other two pens that I have available are, this is the limited edition Wonder Pens collaboration with uh, Franklin Christoph. And this is in the 20, size 20 mini. So this is what she looks like. This is um, a medium nib pen. And then last but not least, I also have my Kaweco Sport in white. And this says that it's a fine nib. Um, the nib itself is brass and 
it does fine nib, but honestly, half the time, to me, it doesn't write quite like a fine, but I still, I this is like one of my favorite pens. So I really love the way each of them write, but let me just uh, first, so I thought that we would first swatch the ink so you can kind of take a look and uh, like I'm going to need some time for it to, to dry anyway. And then I'm going to load it up in each of the pens. I'm going to load enough just because it's a relatively small bottle. I'm going to load enough ink so that it can kind of last me for this week whenever I'm like kind of writing into each of my planners and whatnot. Um, like I said, I already have it loaded in this guy, so I'm not going to kind of make any changes there, but I'm going to load it up into, into these two. So first let's get swatching because that's always everyone's favorite. Here we go. I have my trusty tools. So I'm using currently this one is a size six brush just because whenever I'm going into this planner, I don't like using like a massively huge brush. It's sort of like an off gray color. It's very, very beautiful. So literally like you can pick any of your off gray inks and I'm pretty sure that it will perform just the same. I happen to really enjoy this color. And since it was new, I really wanted to use it right away. So that's kind of what I went with. I do feel like it does have a little bit of a sheen to it and it does have a little bit of a mix of green. We're going to give that a few moments until everything dries and then I will load these guys up so I will be right back. All right, you guys, I have finished with the inking of all three pens. No, Franklin Chris, the Franklin Kristoff swatch. There it is in medium. Now the Sailor, this was sold as a medium fine. And then last the Coeco. This is in fine. Now I will say that I think that the Sailor actually writes more like a fine and then the Kueco writes more like a medium fine. And I will show you guys at the end of the week we will check back in and we will take a look and see which one was the most comfortable and most aligned pen to use with this ink? I mean, with the medium nib, this will never get old of just how rich and bold everything looks and everything just feels so much smoother and it runs very easily. But these are the three pens. So we will take a look. I will bring you guys back and towards the end of the week. That way we have a few days of runtime and take a look at how this little ink has actually performed in each of the pens. And I will give you guys my final thoughts. So I'll talk to you at the end of the week. So here is the update that I promised that I would give you guys about the three pens and no one stop. And this limited edition sailor color, the, this is like the whitish gray one with, from Mizutama. So here are my thoughts on all of this. The three pens that we were trying out, this one is um, Christopher Franklin pen, and this one is in a medium nib, as I mentioned. This one is the actual Sailor um, Pro Gear that came with the ink itself. And this one has a medium fine tip. And then we also had the Kuwaiko Sport, which is, and this one has a fine tip, fine nib, but this one actually writes more like a medium fine and it has a brass tip. So each of them write completely differently. It's a totally different writing experience with all three of them. Now, as far as I will show you examples, writing examples of all three of them, and then I will give you my final thoughts of which one I would actually prefer with this ink, which pen is the most ideal in my opinion to load up into. So I wanted to give you a quick example. So here's a little close up. 
this whole writing section here that you see and even here this was actually done with the sailor with the sailor um pen with this guy this is the medium fine tip and honestly i have to say that this has by far the best writing experience now having said all of that if we zoom in the word tuesday was and agenda was actually written with the medium nib with this guy because i just find it as soon well you can tell like it's completely empty at the moment but as soon as you start writing the writing experience itself is fantastic the ink flows through and you can tell the color difference between the two and if you can't let me just turn on the lights a little bit more here lights are nice and bright let's zoom you guys in so you can see so here this one is a medium fine this one this whole section of writing here is in with a medium tip and you can just tell everything is just richer and bolder now i'm not telling you anything new because if you have a medium nib pen then this is this is obviously really obvious to most of us however i have to say when it comes to the flow of the ink when it comes to the the enjoyment of the writing experience or when i'm looking for something really strong and rich i will 100 percent going to be loading it in here so that's sort of my little comparison between these two guys now as far as the writing experience is concerned if i'm making like notes or even within my even within my hobonichi weeks so here it is and i've made multiple i mean even just today this whole thing was actually written with that same with the same ink and with the same pen so the writing experience on both on both papers it, it's fantastic i think that i've no i ended up switching so here here's where this gets interesting see underneath agenda i'll just zoom in this sloppy mess is brought to you in part by the Kaweco Sport, which made it such a frustrating writing experience. And this actually used to be one of my favorite pens because everything just glides. See what I mean? It's a really nice writing experience. However, I'm not sure if there was, there was any water left in the cartridge and it just didn't get a chance to mix in properly for me to get that richness and that boldness within the color. I did try to use this in multiple times throughout the week because I wanted to give it a fair chance so that the ink can kind of start flowing through and still everything looks really diluted, really faint. And it's just, that's not really the look that I'm looking, um, that I'm going for. And if you're comparing this to, to what we have here, this one is much more crisp, much, much more legible in my opinion. So it's just kind of keep that in mind that this ink and this pen are not exactly besties, even though this pen is actually fantastic with most of the inks that I load up in there. So overall, my final thoughts are this. When it comes to this limited edition Sailor ink, would I would I go with option one and put it into a medium nib Christo Christopher Franklin uh, pen? Would I put it into the Sailor pen, which was which is what it was intended for to begin with? Or would I go with the Kuwaiko? Well, in case you haven't guessed and you you didn't kind of you didn't kind of clue in as to which one was my absolute preference it was the sailor um, the writing experience the smoothness the the fact that it handled all of the different papers that's just my review on the pen itself and the writing experience but the fact that as soon as you push a little bit more ink through then everything just shows up rich and beautiful but still have that fine tip where everything is completely legible and it looks it looks stunning so whenever i'm writing something small like a daily or like quick little notes it's just it's a non-issue it's absolutely a non-issue i'm trying to show you more examples i don't think i have any other um i think i wrote it into the weekly more than anything so this whole thing uh, the weekly was actually written with that except for this section and honestly like it doesn't disappoint 
I'm trying to see if I use it anywhere else, but no, I haven't. So, uh, but I mean, I really love this color. I really love the fact that it's still like very legible. It looks really stunning. So overall, regardless if I'm using it in a Hobonichi Weeks or if I'm using it as a journal entry within the Hobonichi Cousin, the ink itself is an absolute winner. You already know that the pen is going to be fantastic given that it's coming from Sailor. So that's sort of my first choice so i would not necessarily bother with either one of these pens because it's just the writing experience was just wasn't it for me even though i actually i didn't really mind i didn't really mind the medium tip but it's just honestly i don't need to have the ink in, loaded in two different pens for me to kind of have that so this is all i wanted to share with you guys let me know in the comment section below um, what ink I should try next. Um, I do have a few that I would love to kind of try out where things can kind of go either way, um, whether it's sheared out or it's bold and, and beautiful within given these circumstances when whenever you load it up into the different pens so but either way i would love to hear from you let me know in the comment section below which ink i should try next and i should just preface this if you have no idea what inks i own just look back on any of the previous um currently ink videos or i will probably just leave a comment um, in in the comment section so I can give you guys a few options and please vote for your favorite and let me know what we should focus on next this is all I got for you I hope that you have enjoyed this video if you did you can obviously support the channel by just hanging out with me here um, sharing it if you feel called to do so you can also subscribe and hit the notification so you actually get notified whenever there's a new video that's coming up but in the meanwhile just keep sh keep you know, just keep doing all the things that you love doing. Just keep planning, keep journaling, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.